For most of its existence, life on planet Earth has been largely microbial. To this day, microbes are the most abundant and diverse forms of life, with over one trillion species of microbes, many of them yet to be discovered. Humans and microbes go hand in hand. Evidence shows that humans and microbes share genetic material, indicating that the microbial world has been a provider of building blocks for the human genome and through coevolutions. Large communities of non-pathogenic commensal microbes play an important role in human health, residing on mucosal surfaces, for example, in the airway, skin and gut. In other words, there is great genetic diversity and associated biochemical functions in microbes that are not in humans but can affect humans where they live. Like all organisms, microbes are inherently neutral and work for their own benefit. But through coevolution, we're far more likely to house mutualistic microbes that we share mutual benefits with than pathogenic ones. But under certain conditions, mutualistic microbes can become detrimental. Studies have shed light on the influence the human microbiota has on diseases such as diabetes, obesity, malnutrition, heart disease, neurological disorders such as Parkinson's, and inflammatory bowel disorders. Diseases of multiple organs or tissues have also been associated with instabilities in microbiota, including ALS and acute myeloid leukemia. Does this mean that the human microbiome holds the key to preventing the onset of these diseases? Scientists believe that there is a connection. Discoveries in the realms of genome technologies have allowed scientists to sequence the genome of both humans and microbial communities revealing an intricate two-way relationship between the host and its inhabitants. Scientists believe the human genetic variants also affect microbiota. They believe that metabolites, small molecules released by the microbes, have tremendous potential to impact our physiology, both in health and in disease, affecting directly or indirectly most physiological functions. Lifestyle, diet, age, genetic variations can affect the human microbiota which in turn affects the development and regulation of the host's immune system and susceptibility to certain diseases. Researchers at McGill University have been using these tools to understand colitis-associated colorectal cancer, which develops from long-standing colitis in patients with inflammatory bowel disease. Their work aims at elucidating the host-microbe two-way relationships and to understand how genetic variations in the host affect the microbial environment and progression of the disease. They found that in regions where the population of microbes is abundant, like in the colon, the effect of human genes may cause the environment within the gut to change. This change would affect the way the microbes are released and also the type of metabolites that are released. This imbalance can promote disease progressions. But what do all these findings mean and how can they be exploited to improve human health? An example of a potential microbial therapy that could improve human health is some promising work being done in the treatment of malnutrition. This could help recovering children continue their growth and development. A better understanding of these three-way interactions between host genetics, the microbiome and the environment can help pinpoint diseases with strong microbial influences that would benefit from therapies targeting the microbiome.